Hello, Grade 12s. Today we will continue to look at present value annuities. We will show you, amongst other things, how to adjust the present value formula to determine the equal regular payment on a bond or loan. Remember, present value annuities include loans, whether they are small or large, and bonds on a house. If we make equal payments at regular intervals in order to pay back a loan or bond, we call that a present value annuity. We use the present value formula, P equals X multiplied by open bracket, one minus open bracket, one plus I, close bracket, to the power of minus N, close bracket, divided by I. Let's practice using this formula together. Pumla and Nkosi decide to buy separate flats, both priced at 250,000 Rand. The interest rate on their separate bond is 11% per annum, compounded monthly over 20 years for Pumla and 30 years for Ngosi. Let's determine the equal monthly installments of Pumla and Ngosi if they pay their first installment one month after the bond was granted. We are going to use the present value formula to determine equal monthly installment X. We have two options. We can first change the present value formula and get x on one side of the equation and then substitute the values in the formula. Or we can substitute the values into the present value formula first and then get x on one side of the equation. To change the present value formula and get x alone on one side, we multiply both sides of the present formula by i divided by open bracket 1 minus open bracket 1 plus i, close bracket, to the power of minus n. All the terms on the right-hand side of the equation will cancel except the x. Therefore, x will equal p multiplied by i divided by open bracket 1 minus open bracket 1 plus i, close bracket, to the power of minus n, close bracket. We are going to use this formula to determine the equal monthly installments of Pumla and Ngosi. In Pumla's case, P equals 250,000, I equals 0 0.11 divided by 12, and N equals 20 years multiplied by 12 months, which equals 240 repayments. Therefore, X is equal to 250,000 multiplied by 0 0.11 divided by 12 over open bracket 1 minus open bracket 1 plus 0 0.11 divided by 12 close bracket to the power of minus 240 close bracket. Punching these values into our calculator will give us the x equals 2,580 rand and 47 cents. This is Pumla's monthly payment on her loan. We are now going to calculate Ngosi's monthly installment on the 250,000 rand flat with an interest rate of 11% per annum, compounded monthly over 30 years. In Ngosi's case, P equals 250,000, I equals 0 0.11 divided by 12, and N equals 30 years multiplied by 12 months, which equals 360. Therefore, X equals to 250,000 multiplied by 0 0.11 divided by 12 over open bracket 1 minus open bracket 1 plus 0 0.11 divided by 12 close bracket, to the power of minus 360, close bracket. Punching these values into the calculator gives us the answer to x, the equal monthly installments that Ngosi must pay, which is 2,380 rand and 81 cents. Some people prefer to substitute the values first and then solve for x. Let's redo Ngosi's calculations using this method. We already know all the values of the variables, so let's substitute them. 250,000 equals x multiplied by open bracket 1 minus open bracket 1 plus 0 0.11 divided by 12 close bracket to the power of minus 360 
over 0.11 divided by 12. If we punch these values into the calculator, we get 105,006346. Now we need to divide both sides of the equation by this number. This gives us the same answer of 2,380 rand and 81 cents. Pumla and Gosi both bought flats at the same price and the same interest rate, but both of them had different monthly repayments. This was because they paid them off over different time periods. Out of interest, let's calculate the total amount each of them paid on their bonds. To do this, we need to find the sum of all their payments. Pumla's total payment to the bank will be 2,580 rand and 47 cents multiplied by 240, which is equal to 619,312 rand and 80 cents. Ngosi's total payment to the bank will be 2,380 rand and 81 cents multiplied by 360, which is equal to 857,091 rand and 60 cents. The difference in the total amounts paid back to the banks is very big. Ngosi paid 237,778 rand and 80 cents more than Pumla. We can clearly see that Ngosi paid much more on her bond than Pumla. This is because she paid it off over a longer time period. Let us look at a second example. Buza takes out a loan and buys a car for 110,000 rand with zero cent deposit. Interest is 13% per annum compounded monthly over six years and the first installment is due in three months only. Determine Buza's equal monthly installments. Remember, even if you are not required to make a monthly payment on a loan, interest is still charged on the original present value amount or loan on a monthly basis. If the first payment or installment is paid one month after the loan is granted, then the original present value amount, P, stays the same. That is, the present value formula remains unchanged if the first installment is paid one month after the loan is granted. If the first payment is paid two months after the loan has been granted, then one month's interest is added to the original present value amount, P. That is, P now becomes P multiplied by open bracket one plus I close bracket. If the first payment is paid three months after the loan has been granted, then two months' interest is added to the original present value amount, P. That is, P now becomes P multiplied by open bracket 1 plus I close bracket to the power of 2. In our example, Boozer's first installment is due three months after the loan has been granted. We will use the formula P open bracket 1 plus I close bracket to the power of 2 equals X multiplied by open bracket 1 minus open bracket 1 plus I close bracket to the power of minus N close bracket divided by I. It is not only the present value amount, P, that changes if our first payment is three months from the time the loan is granted. The total number of installments, N, is also affected by the later start to payment. Please keep this in mind. With P equal to 110,000 Rand, I equal to 0, 0,13 divided by 12, and N equals to 72 minus 2, which equals 70. Remember, the first installment is due in three months. Therefore, only 70 payments are left from the first six years. Let's first substitute in the values and then solve for x. 110,000 times open bracket 1 plus 0, 0,13 divided by 12 close bracket to the power of 2 is equal to x open bracket 1 minus open bracket 1 plus 0, 0,13 
divided by 12, close bracket, to the power of minus 70, close bracket, over 0 0.13 divided by 12. Using a calculator, we get 112,396,2431 equals x multiplied by 48,88976808. Being careful not to round off at this stage, we now divide 112,396 comma two four three one by forty eight comma eight eight nine seven six eight zero eight x is equal to two thousand two hundred and ninety eight rand and ninety seven cents we have learned three important lessons in this lesson one if you can pay off your loan in a shorter period always do that it will save you money two if possible Pay more than the monthly bond payments. This will reduce the interest you pay, which will save you money. Three, it is not a good idea to start paying back on a loan in two or three months' time, even if the bank gives you permission to do so. The original loan amount will increase every month it is not paid. Thank you for joining us, Grade 12s. You'll be able to learn more about financial mathematics on our website www.mindset.co.za forward slash learn. Remember to try the task video at the end of this series for more practice questions. Goodbye.